All right, we're here with Miracle Laurie, who's over um, in Auckland at the moment for the Armageddon Expo. We're just going to find out a little bit more about her, as we're going to be seeing her on our screens very shortly, and then find out some of her favourite things. Welcome to New Zealand. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> it's really great to have you here. Now, um, you're over here, obviously, for Armageddon, right. and can you tell us a bit about why you've sort of qualified into the Armageddon why Expo? Why I qualified, why I'm yeah. <laughs> Tell us about you. Um, I'm on Joss Whedon's Dollhouse. Now, has it aired over here at all? It's yeah. about to. It's about to. Yeah. Oh, you're in for a treat. Yeah. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, <laughs> I play Melly, who is uh, going to be the next door neighbor of Tom O'Pennicott's character. You'll recognize him from Battlestar Galactica. I think he's on for five or six years. Um, and this is Joss Whedon's newest creation, and it's incredible. And um, I've got a great part, but I can't ruin it for you. So you'll just have to watch every single episode because it's, it's beautiful. It's brilliant. But everyone in the States, uh, we've aired both full seasons already. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in Australia, New Zealand, and other places cheat somehow. Some of you may have even seen everything already because um, mm -hmm. I think you can download it. So, so that's why I'm here. A lot of the fans already know who I am. And, and I made the cut. <laughs> awesome. And um, you think you've got a good groundswell of New Zealand fans who will be turning up? I hear. I hope so. I'm excited to meet them. I, I, I do tweet occasionally. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Twitter-er. Yeah. And uh, Facebook. And, and I've heard from a couple, but my phone is rubbish right now. So I can't <laughs> get all the access to talk to them. So hopefully, yeah, I'll, I'll meet quite a few this week. Awesome. And if someone was watching this and thinking about whether or not they would come down, why, why would you encourage them to come and see you? It's a lot of fun. Yep. And you can take pictures with me and get an autograph and chat. And um, if you're lucky, I may represent and do some koi ball action. Oh. I grew up as a Polynesian dancer, so I have a big love for the Maori culture and you can do some koi balls, short and long. Short. Very talented. Impressive. I think that's probably more than half the people that would turn up to see you. <laughs> I really hope I see that on the news. <laughs> You've got the poi dance going on. Have you seen, um, gosh, I think it was in the 80s, we had a number one hit from the Patio Māori Club, and it was called Poi e, and it's, I'm um, sure I have. I'm going to tweet you the okay. YouTube clip, because you'll love it, <laughs> okay. and hopefully you can recreate it. Awesome. Um, when I was doing a bit of research on you, I found out that you've also got a band. Yes. The Yuki Box, Box Heroes. Heroes. Yeah, and yeah. it was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a bit about that, because that's a bit of a sort of side. It's random, right? Yeah, 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 um, I like it. Yeah, I, uh, like I said, I grew up in the Polynesian culture out mm -hmm. in California. My mom was given a hula lesson when she was like 20, so she danced for, you know, 20 years. And uh, when she was too old to dance, she started emceeing and being vocalist for some of their shows. Mm -hmm. And basically, since I could walk, I've learned how to do all the dances. Hawaiian, Tahitian, Samoan, Maori, all of it. And, um... Even then, Māori over there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, it's it's amazing. It's really, really beautiful. And, and then people come from all over for the competitions. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty great. But a few years ago, um, my mom, my two sisters, and another woman formed an all-female Hawaiian music group. And I was one of their dancers. Mm -hmm. And my younger sister, Angel, said, Miracle, you got to pick up the ukulele. You'll love it. And I said, no, no, no. I dance like you guys. It's fine. And I can sing. I love to sing. I've definitely gotten better. But my sister... And, both my sisters and my mom have like these incredible voices so I was like I'll just be the actor don't worry about it <laughs> um, <laughs> so she taught me my first Hawaiian song on the ukulele and I fell in love and mm -hmm. I had a really really crappy day job at the time so like the youth became my happy place you know <laughs> and uh, I just fell in love with it and my fiance um, I got a ukulele as an early birthday present that year and I brought it home, and my fiancé was a total natural, so we got him one, of course. <laughs> and um, we just started playing and singing Hawaiian songs, because that's what we had available to mm -hmm. us. And one day he said, you know, America, I think I think this song would sound really great on the U. So we downloaded some, like, 80s tune, and we rocked it out. I mean, a lot of stuff sounds good on the U. You can mm -hmm. be surprised. So we formed a ukulele cover band, and that's Ukebox Heroes. Love it. A lot of covers from, you know, oldies, 70s, 80s, 90s, modern. We do a lot of Hawaiian still, and... We what? have one album on iTunes, so you can find us there, and Nimbit, and we're all over the place, yeah. MySpace. Has and it been uh, the most popular cover? What's the, the thing that people most love? People love Tin Man. Ah. By America, right? Yeah. Um, and we do, did you guys see the movie uh, Once? Yeah, we had that. Like Indie? Yeah, yeah. okay. So this, the main theme song, Falling Slowly, Yeah. Um, we do, and a lot of people really love that. Love it. You can find it. It's all over MySpace. I think our full songs are there, too. Awesome. Yeah, I found um, your MySpace. We'll link to that from the articles. So people cool. can check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
Um, as you were saying before, NZ Girl is all about um, favourite things. It's a sort of a collection where everybody can upload things that they love and things that just make them happy. Oh, that's fun. In the same way that a lot of what we've just been talking about. Yeah. So we'll just kind of go through and get some of your favourite things. Alright. Um, first, <laughs> don't be nervous, it should just come from the heart. Um, as I was saying, you know, one of our new sections is our favourite things to eat and it's by far the most popular. So yes. there'll be a lot of interest in this answer. <laughs> this can be anything from... Um, things that you, like recipes you make, or right. places you like to go out, or meals you like to buy when you're out, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, I love cheese every kind. I think it's a woman thing. Yeah. And same with chocolate. I don't trust people who don't like chocolate. <laughs> um, my favorite thing to eat maybe ever are my mom's homemade veggie burgers. I've been a vegetarian wow. my whole life. Yeah. And uh, every once in a while when she feels like being generous, she'll make me a homemade veggie burger. You can't really beat it. Mom's home cooking is kind of always amazing. Yeah. Um, I love a good salad. I like throwing some fruit on it, like mm -hmm. strawberries, stuff like that. I, I like everything but meat. I'm a vegetarian, so yep. I'll eat pretty much anything. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Those veggie burgers sound amazing. They're, they're so, so good. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Um, next section is buy. So that can be anything from fashion to beauty to interiors to technology. Um, you know what was interesting? I'm kind of I come from like a hippie family, mm -hmm. so I'm really happy like tank tops are wrong and barefoot. Like that's yeah. my <laughs> ideal. Um, but something interesting that happened, you know, when you're on a TV show, even if you're supposed to look like you just bought something pretty cheap, like your character doesn't have a lot of money. The reality is they spent some money on the wardrobe, you know. So yeah. it's it's the trick of Hollywood, the magic of Hollywood. So I really learned to appreciate shoes. Uh huh. I'm into shoes. I. Uh, and they're surprisingly comfortable. Like, it's yeah. no wonder they cost three hundred dollars and look amazing. I could never spend that kind of money myself. Yeah. But um, but it was really fun, fun to do that. Is um, there a particular pair that stands out that you wish you could have just borrowed permanently? Uh, some Louboutins. Yeah. Yeah. Those were kind of amazing. I yeah. almost got away with them, but it didn't work out. <laughs> um, and I ended up falling in love with Cavalli. I got to wear yeah. a couple of his dresses, and he he builds for women my size, like normal women. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was kind of incredible. So I definitely got a little spoiled on the show. I got a little taste <laughs> of, of what could be. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I love uh, I love good earrings and, and yeah, sun those are stunning. Thank you. Yeah. They're really the little dragonflies. Little dragonflies, yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. <laughs> I love <you>. them. <laughs> um, another section is entertain. So that's anything from books and magazines to movies, TV, music, mm -hmm. the whole gamut. So what are you loving right now? Um, I'm. <laughs> We have a lot of girls on this side, right? I'm rereading yeah. the Twilight series. I don't know if I should be totally embarrassed. About that. I probably shouldn't say that to anybody. It's disgusting. But um, so, what sparked the rereading? Just because it's because it's brainless. To be honest yeah. with you, and I'm getting married next month. Oh, congratulations! Really Thank you very much. Yeah. So a lot of this year has been like planning and stress and getting ready for this trip is kind of tricky, and there was just yeah. a lot going on, a lot of auditions. So. I kind of needed like a mindless distraction, and that was my go-to for some reason. I mean, it's it's silly. I don't know if you've read them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> I t I'm totally nodding along with you, going. Right. I know I mean, totally what you mean. It's it's embarrassing because we're too well. I'm too old. I'll speak for myself. But, <laughs> but I think it's fun. It almost taps into that like 16 year old in you. That, totally. Like, kind of had that crazy, painful love that was just like it was fun to be in anguish about yep. stupid boys, you know. But I like vampire lore, I like werewolf lore, and I think her take on the whole thing was very interesting really, yes. as well. But it was just a fun little mindless read, and you get to go escape and yeah. I can re watch one of the movies on the plane because it was like a There's 15 hour There's always flight. a Twilight <laughs> movie on the plane, no matter always. what airline. There's always one. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, all right, um, another section is favorite people. So that can be someone really close to you or someone you admire in a famous capacity or anything. Um, one of my kind of heroes as an actress growing up was Lucille Ball. Uh -huh. um, and I'm realizing that more because I'm working on a web series out there now called Goodnight Burbank. We just shot a couple episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very, very silly, very kind of uh, brave humor as well. Mm -hmm. um, but my character is, is very interesting. I play the en entertainment reporter on this fake news show. Oh, fantastic. The yeah, tables are turning. Right. <laughs> But she's a little quirky, and um, and I realized that comedy is really, really fun for me. On Dollhouse, it's a very serious show. It's sci-fi fantasy, like mm -hmm. a lot of twist turns, kind of shady, you know, but but brilliant. And um, But I do like a lot of crying and even some action. I'm very lucky that way. But but being silly is really, really fun, and I forgot how much I love doing comedy. So I've just been reminded of that recently, and, 
bed realizing that I would love to kind of go down that path. Because she was, she was like stunningly beautiful, mm -hmm. really intelligent, really funny, and uh, and not afraid to to laugh at herself and have people laugh at her. And I really love that quality. I think it's I think it's great in a, in a person. So she's that. And then uh, my mom has been a huge hero of mine my entire life. She's actually supposed to come with me on the trip. Aww. And there's a problem with her birth certificate and her passport. And we got it just in the nick of time, but something happened with the ticket. It's been like crazy. So I'm Aww. a little bummed I don't have her with me. I actually, we're gonna put this, if you don't mind. Yeah. This is bamboo. Aww. <laughs> Is this in lieu of your mom this being here? This is in lieu here? of my mom. She has a little guy with her that she's like taking around on adventures. You know those like commercials and stuff where it's like dad holding the monkey up. Yep. You know in Vegas or Eiffel Tower or whatever. Um, so this is Bamboo and I promised her I would take pictures of him. Oh, well, hi Bamboo. Inzi girl says hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love so it. I'll show her the link. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so it, it's been a little rough not having her but she's just, uh, she's been a self-educated woman and beautiful and brave and amazingly talented. And has mm -hmm. always taught me to, to be proud of being a woman, but not abuse the powers we have as yep. being women, which we do. And um, to just be brave and go out there and love in life. And, and that's what I do. That's what gives her. Sounds very gracious. Yeah. Sounds like a really <laughs> favorite awesome. person. Yeah. yeah. Um, another section is places. So that can be international, local for you, or your favorite second name bookshop that you love to hang out in or anything like that so your favorite place I'm kind of like 80 years old on the inside to be honest <laughs> with you I'm a, little, I'm a little bit of a homebody um I love my fiance more than anything and we have the best time just hanging out at home like on a, we just got a new couch love it's it. used but it's new to us and we love it yeah um so we love just watching tv playing ukulele together hanging out talking uh, it's fun it's fun to have like that safe place mm -hmm. when we live in such craziness so he's he's my happy place and um, I'm really glad to be here, I gotta tell you, the little Polynesian girl in me is very, very thrilled to go exploring and, mm -hmm. and all of you have been just lovely and uh, in the States, New York is my home away from home. I love New York City a lot. There's something about the, the pace of it and the people and the mm -hmm. smell and the food. And the just got the energy, theater. isn't it? It's just great. Yeah. yeah. It's really Awesome. And then the final section is no, so favorite things to know, so advice, tips. Oh, to know. Is, yeah. Oh. Like advice I would give? Yeah, your advice. favorite piece of advice that, you know, like, or your mantra or... Oh my god. Um, <laughs> you know, just to put you on the spot. Just put me on the spot. Uh, be good humans. There's a radio, uh, radio show back at home called Mark and Brian, and I've been listening to it for like 20 years. And at the end of every show, one of them says, be good humans, and I think that's all you can do. Is just go do your best in life and just be good. Go be good. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. And do whatever you love. That's, that's important. It is. Yeah. I love that. That is very good favorite favorite advice, okay. favorite things to know. Um, so that kind of concludes our little introduction so to Miracle Laurie. And um, <laughs> hopefully a whole lot of NZ girls will head on down to Armageddon this weekend yeah. and come and say hi and introduce themselves. And, and if you can, at least watch the show because it's awesome. And yes. Love it. And it's all about woman power. power. There's a lot of women power. Love it. And we'll look forward to seeing all of those twists that unfold. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Miracle. Bye. Bye.